on and get your sign. Come on and get your sign. People genuinely wake up and they look to me for advice on like real life. Not like just music, not like just, oh, let me, you know, she look nice. Oh, that's one of those Instagram models. She pretty. Let me, you know, ask her for some like advice on vanity. No, like they come to me like, listen, I feel suicidal. I'm going through a breakup or I don't know how to cope with this. Or listen, my, my mom got me with these generational curses where I'm treating my kids a certain kind of way based on how she treated me. Or, you know, I don't know how to manage my emotions right. I don't know how to like it just made me realize like these people really need this. And it's nobody else giving it to them the way that I'm giving it to them. It's nobody else that picked the topics that I pick. I get like a lot of backlash from females because in my videos, I'm able to give it to them from the perspective that, you know, the niggas ain't the ones that's always wrong. Like we very manipulative. We do a lot of shit in relationships and using kids as pawns and just, you know, just the power of the pussy and being able to just treat niggas a certain kind of way based on money and what the, the music and the media is telling us we should value and like we got to take some accountability and some responsibility and you know oh females be wanna they're like oh they want to beat my ass about that how dare she <laughs> like take the nigga side Does so yeah i'm realizing more and more like it's it's like i say it's a it's a life of its own but i understand the responsibility behind it so <clears throat> is she wrong though now, before y'all get up on here, man, if you're triggered by that, all right, if you're triggered by that and you're a woman, a chick, female, you got to look at yourself. You got to look yourself in the mirror. We got to stop getting to a point, and even fellas, man, you know, we got to stop getting to a point where we're triggered about things that are very constructive. Nothing crazy came out of her mouth. She was speaking on, on trauma, childhood trauma, and she was speaking on um, how how chicks, not women, chicks can be out here using their babies as pawns, and everything ain't always gotta be the man fault. And of course, I could always say vice versa. Of course. See, the thing is, when people when they look at videos, when they look at content, they gotta understand that. Look, when there's a certain topic out there right now, when there's a certain topic that you're looking at, focus on the topic at hand. All right. The first thing people always want to say is, well, what about such and such? Well, what about such and such? Well, what about them too? Well, them too, them too, them too, them too, them too, them too, them too. We know that, all right? We know that. If there's a topic out there, focus on that itself. We know dudes ain't junk. You know, a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes ain't crap out here. For real, for all these busted dudes and these dusties walking around, we know that. But what about the chicks that walk around and they act like they shit don't stink? And they go around, like she said, manipulating situations, manipulating men, and uh, actually, and, that, and also manipulating children, all because you're bitter and all because you're dealing with some type of trauma that you can't seem to shake off at the moment. So, um, you know, I thought this right here was dope, man. We gotta get, we gotta get better at being more open to, to the truth, all right? Um, but like they say about the truth, the truth, if it don't sting, that mean it really, it, it really ain't did nothing. It really ain't really the truth. It might be a lie. Uh, a lot of folks lie out here because they try to coddle you and they try to get you to join their side because they don't want to run you off and run you away. But the truth, man, the truth will get you messed up out here, man. The truth will have you out here six feet under a lot of times because people just can't handle it because there's a lot of emotional brats out here that can't even put themselves to the side and look at something and say, hmm, I, I, vividly, I vividly understand, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I like it, man. Um, it's unfortunate that she has to wear the things that she has to wear in order to get attention. That's very unfortunate, man. Um, you know, hey, but that's her preference. That's what she choose to do. Other than that, I ain't seen nothing wrong with the video. Um, this is something that a lot of people got to take into consideration, especially these chicks, man. And fellas, like I said, y'all got to get on y'all junk too as well, man. Um, but that's why everybody have platform. That's why I respect it because when I look at when I look at content online, you either going to be left, right, or in the middle. When you go left, let's just say those are the guys that specifically focus on content 
that that uh, that focus on what men go through and what the other gender is doing to them or, or what's happening. And when you focus on the right, there's probably a lot of chicks, a lot of chicks out here, a lot of women who are making platforms for the women who are going through things that, that dudes are putting them through. And then you have the people right in the middle. The people in the middle, they can bring in both audiences, both, they can bring in both genders without running either of them away because they know how to get their word play um, to a certain place where it's not making nobody feel any type of way, but they're getting something constructive out of it and it's good entertainment. I like it all, you feel me? Um, y'all gotta stop getting to a point where y'all arguing in everybody's DMs and comments and stuff like that because you don't went, you're, you're over here and you don't went to a left platform full of dudes knowing that you got, this is what you where your mind be and you go over there and crawl your ass over there and be like, oh, well y'all act like this, y'all act like that. And y'all dudes, you feel me? Y'all Y'all gotta stop acting the way y'all act when you crawl your ass from the left side and you go to the right where women are talking about what they go through and all the trauma they go through, what men put them through and what dudes put them through and you leaving comments or, or you know, making them feel bad and being bitter as well. Stop it, man. Everybody's platform out here can teach you something, whether it's bad or good, all right? It's all about what you take out of it. So I like it, man. Would you rather, would you rather the TV run it all or would you rather the people continue to focus on their narrative, their platform, and their audience and pour, pour out whatever they want to pour out, man? We can't be out here picking and choosing what we want to get mad at, especially if you crawl to the other side looking for some junk that ain't really got nothing to do with you. All right? So um, we got to be more open-minded out here, man. And, and, and also stop getting mad at things that really don't pertain to you. Too often folks get out here and... They, they throw fake outrages or outrages in general over a situation that ain't got nothing to do with them. You just want to be mad because you woke up and just chose violence just to be mad. Really? The world is a very toxic place and the internet is the world. Uh, I look at the internet like this. The internet is basically like like walking outside of your house. When you're in the house, you're chilling, you're in the comfort of your own home, you ain't gotta worry about strangers like that, but the moment you open that door and walk outside, you have to make sure God or, or the universe is, is on your side because that's when you should expect the BS to come across your desk because you're walking into the lion's den at that point and you're, you're, you're only, your only job is to fight through it and make it out and come home safely. That's what the internet is. So anytime you log on the internet and open your phone or open your tablet or get on your computer or your laptop, you gotta understand that you're gonna walk into a boatload of toxicity. All right? So um, that's just what it is, man. So respect all platforms, it is what it is. I thought she was speaking some real junk and that's pretty much it, y'all.